Well, after the earnings call, we had some disappointing news that the Cybertruck was indeed delayed until 2023. And of course, for those of us who have been waiting for so long to get our hands on that Cybertruck, it has been a long and hard wait. And this just adds to that wait and it's really disappointing. But with that aside, this week has been very active at Tesla, especially for the Cybertruck. Tesla has completed a new prototype of the Cybertruck and somebody had the kahunas to go ahead and pull their phone out and film a very detailed video of this car. So we're gonna talk about some of the things that are clearly changed in the Cybertruck with this new prototype. And also since Tesla has removed pricing, I kinda of wanna talk about that topic as well because I think that there is enough history to kinda of start to figure out where it could possibly land in pricing by the time it launches in 2023. But first, a quick shout out to today's video sponsor, Drive Protected Shop. Drive Protected Shop offers pre-cut PPF kits for your Tesla. And if you use code BTG, you'll save 20% on your order. All prices are listed in Canadian. So thanks again to Drive Protected Shop for sponsoring this video. So the Cybertruck was announced some time ago and you were able to pre-order your truck in 2019. So for those first people that were able to order the Cybertruck, something like a quarter of a million people at the beginning of pre-orders, we've been patiently waiting for all this time to get our hands on that Cybertruck. And we've had little bits of things here and there to keep us entertained along the way. Now Tesla made an original prototype of the car and featured it in places like New York, driving it around town. And we've seen this car at Giga Austin from time to time. Now just recently, Tesla did release their next version of the Cybertruck and we got some really awesome pictures of the new version of the Cybertruck. We got our first glimpse of this truck as it was taking laps around the test track at Tesla. Now it is clear that there were some tweaks made on the exterior of the car, of course, as well as the hardware on the vehicle. Since the original release, we have heard that there were final dimensions that need to be brought in to make the Cybertruck the right size. But in addition, there's been new features added, things like four wheel steering and a number of other unknowns that are being added to the function of the original planned Cybertruck. Now with this new version, with these awesome pictures that we got and a video, here is what we're looking at that we can see at least so far. The new Cybertruck, of course, like I said, has four wheel steer now. It also comes with this fantastic, humongous wiper blade, which even Elon Musk has said so himself that it is not a good look. So I'm sure we'll see a solution for this that'll look much better than this massive wiper blade. In addition, they did have to add mirrors to the truck, which Elon Elon Musk did say are removable, so you are allowed to remove these mirrors once you take delivery. Now, people like me probably won't ever remove them, but if you did want it to look better, they are removable. Also, especially on the front of the car, you can see some of the body refinements as some of these dimensions and some of the diameters have changed since the original version. Also, the front bumper on the very bottom does look a little bit slimmer than it did on the original prototype. I've also added some lights in there, and it just overall looks a little bit different in this newer Cybertruck, one of the things that I was not surprised to see is the tires that are on this vehicle are different than what we originally saw. Now the original Cybertruck, when it went on the stage, had these huge, very aggressive, mud terrain looking tires that cannot be good for an electric car when it comes to range. So I'm not surprised to see something a little bit more on the all-terrain, but still a very aggressive tread pattern on the truck. Also with that, this vehicle does not have the aero covers on the wheels, so you can see what the base wheels underneath look like. Just like in the Model 3 and in the Model Y, when you remove those hubcaps, you can see a full alloy wheel underneath, which it's nice to see what it's gonna look like should you not be a fan of those aero covers. However, those aero covers look pretty sweet. What was really interesting about this particular one, and there may be a reason for it, but it had a spray in bed liner. Now, when they unveiled the Cybertruck, it was all exposed aluminum. Now that's gonna get beat up really bad, so I'm hoping that the spray and bed liner is at least an option. If not, people like me will be adding that because a bare aluminum bed, although it's gonna look really nice, is not going to be practical from a utility standpoint. So it does have a spray and bed liner in there. So they may just be using that for testing. I, we really don't know at this point. However, one thing that's very interesting is randomly strapped down on the very back of the bed, are what appear to be sandbags. So I'm not sure if that's like a sign of something, but there's clearly a couple of sandbags in the back of the Cybertruck. 
So take from that what you will. With what seems like daily updated pictures on social media from celebrities all over the place, I've yet to see an updated picture of the inside. Now there was one picture where you could kind of see at least the yoke steering wheel and you could see the screen in front of the yoke. So it is going to have the infotainment center right in front of the steering wheel, much like in the S and the X, which I think is smart and I think it's a good thing to have. It's also of course gonna have that 17 inch massive screen, which should again match what we have in the S and the X. But other than that, there's really not been any interior pictures of the new Cybertruck for whatever reason. In a recent photo standing in front of the Cybertruck, you can see the windows are clearly open. I just wish somebody would just stick their phone in there and snap a couple shots while they're there. I'm sure at some point we will see the inside of this new version of the Cybertruck and we'll just have to wait. Now let's get on to pricing because over the last year in 2021, it was extremely active at Tesla when it came to pricing. Of course, the Model 3 and the Model Y, the Model S and the Model X, they all had a number of increases. Now, the increases on the 3 and Y were incremental and much smaller at a time, but there were a number of them. I believe it was something like 12 increases for the Model Y long range. So there's been a lot of increases at Tesla in 2021. But even the S and the X had some pretty substantial increases, between ten dollars and $15,000, depending on the trim. So when you look at that as a whole, you can start to gauge what potentially we could be looking at for the Cybertruck on pricing. Now, starting with the Model 3, we saw increases between four dollars and $7,000. Now, that doesn't include the $1,000 dip that we had at the very beginning of the year before going back up. So for the standard range, that was like 18.5% increase. Now, for the long range of the performance, it was 8.5% and 7.2% respectively. We saw a very similar thing over on the Model Y. Now, the standard range was only available for a little bit and it went down quite a bit and then came right back up. So that doesn't really give us enough data. But when we look at the long range, it increased by 18% and the performance 6.7%. Now over on the S and the X, we saw prices change from ten dollars to $15,000 depending on the trim. So that represents 18.5% on the lower trims and 8.3% on the higher trims. So with that in mind, here's a realistic approach. Now these aren't going to be perfect, but I think that these are directionally going to be correct for the Cybertruck when it comes to pricing. Starting with the single motor at $39,900, if it also had something like an 18.5% increase, round that to about $7,400. So $47,300. The dual motor at $49,900, if it was somewhere in that 8.5% range, we'd be looking at a $4,300 increase or a new price of $54,200. And for that tri-motor, which is now a quad motor, it would likely see something like 8.5% or $6,000, bringing it to $75,900. So there's been a lot of rumors and a lot of talk about what the new prices are gonna be, and I've seen some pretty large numbers out there, and I don't think they're gonna be as extreme as some of these out there are suggesting. However, the Cybertruck has been delayed for a number of reasons, and the last thing that we heard about this was there's so many things that they're adding to the Cybertruck and so much new technology there that it's going to likely bring costs with it. Now, the architecture of this truck is completely different and it should be a cost-leading design. So that should help keep it from going too far. However, depending on how much new radical stuff they're trying to put in the Cybertruck, that could really impact how much we're talking about from an increased perspective. They have to toe the line between making the most incredible thing in the world and making it affordable. So like many of you, I am still anxiously waiting to get my hands on a Cybertruck, especially with this winter storm that we're having right now. I would love nothing more than to have the Cybertruck. And although there are some subtle hints here and there about timing, I still think that 2023 is probably likely as the time frame we should be expecting the Cybertruck. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, of course, give it the thumbs up. If you haven't already, of course, subscribe to the channel as we continue to post content regularly. You can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Bearded Tesla. Thanks so much for joining us and we'll catch you next time.